Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be sharing with you another poem from my poetry portfolio, Stretch Marks. This is a collection of poems that are centred around people who've been affected in various ways by a lack of reproductive rights in Ireland and more generally it's about the Repeal the Eighth movement. There will be a referendum on the repeal of the Eighth Amendment in Ireland on the 25th of May and I am very lucky in that I'm going to be able to go home to vote so fingers crossed that referendum goes the way that I think most people who watch this channel would like it to go. Most of the poems in this portfolio were written last year as part of my final year creative writing project at university but this is a poem that I've actually written fairly recently and I'm excited to share something with you um, that is a bit newer, it's not like back catalogue. If you want to hear the other poems that I have uploaded from this portfolio I will leave the playlist linked down below. But this one is called Wounded and Wary. Colini sit in classrooms, weaving St Bridget's cross with religious lesson plans that'll get God's word across. They replace maths lessons, replace science, replace PE, replace literature and art and they won't even start sex ed until they're 16. When half the girls there have already had torn underwear and come in their hair and bled onto the armchair they were fucked on because they didn't prepare and thought that was supposed to happen. But for now, all they need is the Lord's Prayer to be dainty and saintly but strangely. St Bridget of the Cross they weave wasn't as saintly as they'd like you to believe. Oh, I swear, Bridget of Kildare vanished a fetus as if it were never there. She'd be excommunicated. Bridget's miracle is deplorable, despicable, unforgivable. Bridget is our patron saint of learning, so Bridget would be yearning to see these tables turning, to see lessons on consent, not pressures to repent. To advise on proper protection and make sure the girls who like girls know they need not a moment of correction. She'd show us sex isn't scary and campaign to make sure not a woman more needs to get on that fucking ferry. Bridget, you are a voice for the wounded and the wary. Amen.